Speaking of wrinkles, lots of wrinkles in the Rutgers decision-making process. New athletic director Julie Herman has a past, don't we all? But she has a past that involves an entire team going on record saying she was verbally abusive. Rutgers needed to make a decision, bringing in a new coach, getting as far away from someone with a verbally abusive past, probably the direction they wanted to go in. They did not. The University of Rutgers has disgraced itself, has disgraced the conference it was in, Before it even joins the Big Ten, it is disgracing the conference it's going to be in. I mean, they got all the prestige and accolades of a commuter school right now. I'd rather see Nassau County Community College find its way into the Big Ten than Rutgers. By the way, Nassau County Community College probably has more interest in the major New York metropolitan area than Rutgers ever did. Rutgers isn't even on the caboose of what's interesting in New York. It's not. Nobody in New York cares about Rutgers. Very few people in New Jersey care about Rutgers. It is without prestige, without tradition, without interest, without passionate alumni, and now without integrity, without good decision makers, without any business joining the Big Ten. Can you tell how I feel about this? We will get into the detail. And forget my opinion. We're just going to go through some of the facts in this. We'll do that a little bit later on. Uh, want to get into this Rutgers story here and now. And look, if Rutgers is a story, chances are it's another example of Rutgers not being able to get out of its own way. I can't remember the last time Rutgers was actually a story, you know, for sports. Maybe the last time they crashed the BCS. Greg Schiano was there. Look, Rutgers does not have an awful lot of pedigree. Rutgers doesn't have any academic or athletic prestige other than fielding an old football team, meaning that they've been playing for a really long time. Never at a high level, never at anything to be proud about. Rutgers has often been the doormat of wherever it was playing football. And they're coming into the Big Ten. You know, it wasn't until the last handful of seasons where Rutgers had ever gotten its act together in any sort of way in, in, in a men's sport. You know, Rutgers is probably best known for its women's basketball team. One of the few women's basketball coaches I can actually name, Vivian Stringer. Otherwise, that athletic department is a joke. And I can say that without having to offer and apologize because Rutgers has proven itself once again incapable of getting out of its own way, incapable of diffusing the ticking time bomb that are the decision makers in Piscataway. New athletic director Julie Herman was brought in. She replaces Tim Parenti, who resigned under the weight of the Mike Rice incident, which I actually thought was a little bit overblown. I I really do. Again, I went to IU Bob Knight was the coach I watched coach. Uh, what Mike Rice did in basketball practice is how seventh graders are coached in Indiana. So I, I was not nearly as offended as the public at large about that Mike Rice video. That Mike Rice video happens more often than it doesn't happen, I think, on campuses. And other guys just haven't been called out to the mat. They never ran a piece about some of these coaches uh, on outside the lines. But Mike Rice was brought into the you know, nation's outrage and outrage, and the fact that he had, like all of Rutgers, no pedigree at winning, he was let go in the scandal. The athletic director resigns under the weight of the scandal. So they hire Julie Herman, who is the new fresh face that they're looking to put on the entire athletic department. And if I were the board of regents or the board of trustees, whoever made this hire, The vetting process that I would have had for the next athletic director would have been only on par with a presidential vetting process. I mean, there's no way we're bringing in anyone with a past, with scandal, with, oh, I don't know, like maybe when she was the head women's volleyball coach at Tennessee 16 years ago, 
all 15 of her players in a letter denounced her as abusive? We need a new AD to, reply, to, to replace the guy who let the abusive coach go. Who, let, who are we going to hire? Let's get the woman with the abusive past. This is back in 1996. Again, she was the volleyball coach at Tennessee. All 15 of the women, the girls on that volleyball team, signed a letter, gave it to the Tennessee Athletic Department saying that she was abusive and frequently called them, and I quote, whores, alcoholics, and learning disabled, end quote. That is not my opinion. That is a fact. But if you ask Julie Herman about it, she can't remember. She has no idea what you're talking about. Here's another fact. That she was sued by an assistant coach in Knoxville after she discouraged this assistant from getting pregnant. Which, by the way, you're not allowed to do. You're not allowed to help your assistant coach's family plan. Not anywhere. The accuser was awarded $150,000 in a settlement. So, obviously, this had to be something that Julie Herman was aware of. There was an entire legal process that carried itself out. Have you never heard of the letter about all the girls quitting on you? Well, you had to heard of the $1,500 settlement, right? Well, she was asked about it at a press conference, and... What do you know? No recollection. Here's her sound at her debut press conference as Rutgers AD. (laughs) There's no video, trust me. You know, through the course of, I've been managing people for 25 years, and through the course of 25 years, um, hundreds of student athletes and coaches, and unfortunately there's occasions in which some of those dialogues end up being litigated. And uh, it was litigated. While I do not agree with the outcome, it's already been litigated, and there's really nothing else to comment on. She was quoted in the article as uh, saying, uh, does it mean it might come down to not having a baby or losing my job? And she quoted you as saying, it might. Not familiar with that whatsoever. You don't remember that, though? No, sir. Oh, boy, there's an awful lot of lawyers speaking there. We live in a very litigious society, and some conversations are litigated, but I don't have any recollection of what video are you talking about of? What video? No such video exists. Well, let us take you now to that 1997 wedding video with the poor audio, but we're going to play it for you anyways, where she basically looks into the camera and tells the woman getting married, hey, have fun on your wedding night, but not too much fun because we can't have any kids running around the volleyball office. So, I'm very proud of you, I'm very happy for you, and I love you very much, I'm very excited about you today, and uh, I, hope it, I hope it's good tonight, because yeah, I know you've been waiting for a while, but I hope it's not too good, because I don't want you to come back in February with any surprises, you know, <laughs> the office and all, and it'd be hard to have a baby in there, and all babysitting, and well, actually, I wouldn't mind it so much, but maybe Joe, I don't know. And- there you go, it's a little garbled, you kind of need the subtitles underneath it to hear what she's saying. Subtitles on the radio, by the way, always a bad move. But she basically, red-handed, is telling the woman on her own wedding video, don't get pregnant. She doesn't remember any of this, by the way. She doesn't remember the lawsuit. She doesn't remember any of this. These are, again, the facts. Here's another fact. She hired Eddie Jordan to replace Mike Rice. Well, guess what? That comes under a cloud of scandal. They promoted him as a graduate of Rutgers. Never graduated. Never graduated. Is it too late for the Big Ten to throw Rutgers the hell out of the conference that it doesn't belong in in the first place? Rutgers didn't belong in the Big Ten before any of this. Now that you got this? Get amateur hour out of one of the finest conferences anyone has ever seen. Amateur hour. Rutgers is a commuter school. And you're going to have them to be in a Big Ten? You can't get Chris Christie enough involved to make me change my mind that Rutgers doesn't belong. Rutgers is a second-class citizen on its own campus. The people in charge of hiring and running this athletic department are now going to have a say in Big Ten meetings? Like this chick, Julie Herman, their new AD, gets a vote? It's absolutely ridiculous. Wrong woman, wrong hire, 
wrong school, wrong campus, wrong media market impact. It's just wrong. Get Rutgers out of the Big Ten. Hashtag Rutgers out. Damon Bruce filling in for Jim Rome on CBS Sports Radio. You're listening to The Jim Rome Show.